Yes, welcome back. Welcome back for the second session. Now, we are going to move on to the second factor. And this second factor is what we call diffusion gradient. So for temperature we have said, when you are explaining temperature, you must connect the temperature with the kinetic energy, and then the rate of diffusion. But now our part B which we call diffusion gradients, diffusion gradients. Diffusion, we know the meaning of diffusion now, gradient means the slope, the steepness of a given slope. So why, what is this thing that we call diffusion gradient? Now, diffusion gradient refers to the difference in concentration between two regions difference in concentration between two regions. For example, I may have a box, two boxes, and this box is box X, box Y. Then I have region A, region B, region N, region M. So that this side, I have eight particles. And on this side, I have two particles. Here, I may have eight particles. And on this side, I can have four particles. So the difference in concentration here the difference is 6. And on this side the difference, we have 4. So we can say for x, the concentration gradient is higher than for y. For x, the concentration gradient is higher than in y which is only 4. So we are talking of difference in concentrations between two points. How does it affect the movement of particles? Because we have seen how particles move. Now, so the greater the, uh, the diffusion gradient between two points, the higher the rate of diffusion. If we take the two uh, boxes, then particles will move from a region of high to a region of low. A region of high concentration to a region of low. But now, the rate of movement will be higher. So here, the rate will be higher. And here we have a lower rate of diffusion, slower movement of particles. That is what we are saying. That increasing the concentration of diffusing molecules at one point increases the diffusion gradient and an increase in the rate. So if you increase the diffusion gradient, then the rate increases. Like if you increase the gradient from 4 to 6, the rate of diffusion will also increase. Like in my screen, on my screen here, we have the yellow particles. And then we have the normal, let's say these are perfume particles, a perfume. These are perfume molecules. And these are air molecules. So on this side we have higher number of perfume molecules. On the other side we have, we have no perfume molecules. So these molecules of perfume will do what? They will diffuse towards a region of low concentration towards a region of low concentration. Now, the difference in concentration between two points 
can be said to be steep or uh, or gentle. Like where the difference is, we can say this part is very high. Yeah? That's what we can say. You can say here, if we were supposed to now draw a gradient, if we were to draw the gradient, then we will say in this box, one side is very high, another side is low. This is point A and point B. But what about in our second box? In our second box, this side is at that point, this is point B, but we have several molecules here, so it is somewhere there. Meaning the slope is not steep. So concentration gradient can be compared to a slope, where high concentration gradients, gradient can be a steep slope. Steep concentration gradient. A low, a low concentration gradient, meaning a gentle slope. And even if you take water, if you pour water here, it will move very fast. If you pour water on a gentle slope, it will move slowly. So molecules move faster where the difference is large. And they move slowly where the difference is. So again, the rate of diffusion will be higher where we have a steep, a steep concentration gradient. And lower where we have a less steep one. This is much steeper. So steeper concentration gradient means faster rate of diffusion. Shallow concentration gradient means lower rate of diffusion. So that is how diffusion, the concentration gradient affect the rate. Our third factor is the thickness of the tissue. Thickness of the tissue. Now, diffusion is a process that occurs both outside and within living organisms. Let us say we have two tissues, A, and then we have B. And oxygen is supposed to diffuse across the two tissues. Oxygen gas is supposed to diffuse across the two tissues. In the thick one, this one is thicker. This one, this one is thinner, thin. So in the, when for molecules to move across, they require more time. Here for molecules to move across, they require less time. So the rate of diffusion will be faster in B than in a. That's why we are saying that the thicker the membrane, the thicker the membrane or tissue, the lower the rate of diffusion. The thicker the membrane or the tissue, the slower the rate of diffusion because the distance to be covered by the diffusing molecules is greater. The rate of diffusion is rapid across thinner membranes, across thinner membranes, very rapid, across epithelial, like we talked of epithelial tissues, it moves very fast because epithelial tissues are very thin, shorter time required for the particles to cross, that is what we are saying. So that one brings us to the end of our discussion today, make sure that you have the notes. Watch the video, write the notes, therefore, after that, you'll be okay. Thank you for watching.